right guys I have made it I'm getting ready to set up the gazelle I'm at Paris Landing State Park for the night uh, I've got a good supper to kick good breakfast to kick can't speak we will tour the park later right over there is the marina the rest of the campsites are up that way and uh, the entrance to the roads is right over there I'm an idiot I'll admit it stupid did not realize that I passed land between the lakes coming here anyway so this may become a two-part video with a day at land between the lakes tomorrow so stay tuned we'll see how it goes um we need a camp set up it's kind of a wonky site that's my first time here so what i'm gonna do is get tent set up get the cot set up inside get everything inside that i need inside and then we may take off and ride up the hill and look at the other campgrounds they have what they call camping tents here um, some other things they do have cabins a restaurant marina and so anyway i'll be back with you shortly all right so i've got the tent set up right there there i got the cotton stuff in it didn't take long um campsite is whack it's the primitive sites here at paris landing we're going to ride around and look at the others and see how they are. But basically, you have a little spot of land. Um, I mean, I could use that down yonder if I wanted to fall down that hill. Uh, but all of them are kind of funky. Good. But, wow. Anyway, um, so coming into Paris Landing, like I said, I'm an idiot. Didn't look at the map. I didn't realize I was going to pass land between the lakes. So I was talking to the wife and said, you know, get up in the morning, cook my breakfast. I got good breakfast I'm going to cook in the morning. Thinking about getting up, do breakfast, load up, and do a land between the lakes day part of the day anyway i'd like to be gone by noon which i could do that i mean it's it's literally over the bridge and up the road a piece i mean i can be there in five minutes i was just blown away i could have been doing land between the lakes all day come here camped got up tomorrow morning done some more land between the lakes idiot anyway a big old tree right in front of me, right there. See it? Big sucker. Goes all the way up. Got a bunch of trees behind me, pretty good size. Um, but I want to look at the upper campgrounds here in a second. So I didn't set up any of the other the cooking station or anything yet. I want to think about that. It would be kind of neat if I had a half drawer that would slide out have the stove on the very end prep area that kind of stuff i'm not looking for the whole bed to slide out just that portion hmm things that make you go hmm so anyway for right now i'm gonna chill for a second and I'll get in the truck and I'll take y'all up above and we'll look at the other campgrounds. And we'll look at what they call their camping cabins. Um, I'll leave a link down below for the campsite, for the campgrounds. Like I said, it's Paris Landing State Park. The lodge part is on the other side of the main highway. This is just the um, um, campgrounds. Best I could tell. Anyway, so, I don't know. I'm going to figure I'll start supper about 5.30ish, 6. Nothing big. Steak. We'll have steak. We'll have potatoes. It's a meat, but it's a potato weekend, so keep that in mind. All right, I'll bring you back. Okay, so something I was thinking about earlier 
is how many Tennessee State Parks have I stayed at? I just did a count because I can keep up with it on my uh, Tennessee Passport, State Park Passport. I have stayed at 21 state parks in the state of Tennessee. That's quite a few. So if you live in the state of Tennessee or camp a lot in the state of Tennessee, let me know how many state parks you've stayed in here. I, I could have been staying at Land Between the Lakes tonight. I still like to do that with somebody. Like I like to do the dispersed camping somebody with me, but that way somebody can live through it and tell the story of how I perished. <laughs> oh, anyway. I think I'm gonna get up and uh we're gonna go tour campground. Bring you guys with me. Let's go tour the campground. As you can see, we're coming up the hill uh, from the lower primitive campsites. Uh, you pass one campsite, but then you come on up and you see the first bathroom. It was a nice bathroom. It was really clean and really nice inside because I used it. And we're going up top of the hill here. Um, you're going to catch your first glimpse and only glimpse because I don't know how to video of what they call the camping cabins they're going to be right here on the right you see them right there on the right uh they're basically prefabbed cabins and that's what their camping cabin is they have two bunks and um little stuff in it not much there's a fire truck okay um you'll see boats at some of the camp camping sites because there is a huge lake huge marina and from what i understand lots of fishing around this place but anyway we're going back up this hill um, back towards more of the camping sites um, personally i think um, they have a whole lot more i mean they've actually got them spread out quite a bit but uh, most of their sites which is scary say moderate incline which these first few weren't that bad and these are gravel so i could have done one of these down here at the bottom uh wouldn't have any shade but wasn't in the middle of summer so it wouldn't have been so bad um but you'll see all their sites actually are gravel sites not asphalt um which i can hang with because i can still anchor a tent in the middle of a gravel site i've done it but uh, you'll see how some of the sites look. They look kind of, well, it can be rough. It can be rough. I will say that. Um, there are two bathrooms, bathhouses up on this hill. Um, I don't know if I ever passed the second one or not. Okay, on this trip, I was trying some different soap. Uh, direct to Boater. Biodegradable camp soap formulated for salt and fresh water. I would say it gives it a lot more suds. And I can tell it's taking the grease off. It's pretty thin. Um, I'll hold it up there. I got it off at the jungle site. But... It even works on salt water, which I thought was interesting. Salt and fresh water. So, pretty cool, pretty cool. What's 
going on everybody good evening I'm in the tent fires died pretty much all the way down um, fixing to watch a movie on the iPad I was smart this time I download movies on the iPad even though right over there is a cell tower that seems not be uh, giving me cell service so I'd be that way but anyway I'm gonna watch a movie um, just got to watching a um, documentary on Prime about Black Hawk Down if you've never seen it go watch it it's pretty interesting um, anyway gonna get up in the morning and fix a little breakfast I'm gonna alter my breakfast a tad bit um, but I'm still gonna keep it to one pan and we're gonna tear this thing down and I've decided to do something different so I'll see you in the morning hopefully nothing silly happens good morning how are you doing Slept really good last night. Got a little hot. So when I got up to use the tree at 3 o'clock this morning, I grabbed the blanket out of the truck and slept on top of the big old hot sleeping bag. <laughs> that was at 3 a.m. that I did that. And it's a little bit after 6 now. So... I slept really good last night. I really did. But I'm going to get up. I'm going to have to let the sun come up and knock the dew off the tent before I take it down. Uh, which I'm in a pretty open area. So as soon as the sun comes up and starts heating up, it'll, it'll dry it pretty quick. The Paris Landing is really nice. The campgrounds. It's really nice. Would I put it in my top five? Hmm. Probably not. You've seen my top five videos. But I like it. Um, I like the... I'd like to try those camping cabins at one time. At some point. Staff, super nice. Super sweet. Super cool. Um... Maybe the lodge would be a good thing maybe I can bring the wife back and we can stay at the lodge one time it's it's pretty it's really pretty it sits right there on the lake but anyway I'm going to get up now and um, gotta have some coffee so coffee of choice this morning instant coffee of course is Starbucks Pike place. I love this blend. I've actually had it before um, in the brewed version. I really like it. Uh, it's smooth, it's mild, it's not stupid over the top. And then we'll throw a little French vanilla in there. Flavor. That is coffee of choice this morning. Traffic's getting hit. Okay, I'm right in the sun now. So here's breakfast. Bacon. Sausage. And darn near a cheese omelet. Seriously, darn near. See it? Look at it. So, Shannon... Swamp Stalker, you could honestly sit down and eat breakfast with me this morning because I'm not having spam. And this is good old country bacon. Look how thick that thing is. I mean, mmm. All right, well, I'm not going to sit here and make you watch me eat. Um, so I'm going to get breakfast done, and I'll start tearing it down. Bring you back if 
I don't know, meteor hits or something. And just like that, camp's torn down. It's all back in the truck. And this trip is over. So, well, is it? Nope. I got something else I'm going to do. See you in the next video. Be prepared.